Nice to meet you, Sherry. Nice to meet you. How long have you been working with Robot X and doing these events? I've been working for Robo Nation for 11 years, and this will be my fourth Robot X. Wow. We've been really pleased to be your partners, and I know how hard you have worked, so thank you guys so much. Thank you, Sherry. Hey, Colin, how have you been? You know, it's been stressful, but I'm excited that we're finally here in Australia. So what's your expectation is regarding this tournament? So the expectation is that the team's going to learn a lot. We came in sort of behind and under-resourced, but I think well, the service that you guys provided sort of really aligned with what our local, I guess, mentors were saying a global or international shipping service should provide. Hey guys, I'm with Chan Wai from National University of Singapore. How are you? Uh, we're feeling pretty good, but um, the wind has been um, the main culprit for today and the courses have, have, have actually been shut down for today. So um, we are losing a lot of water testing time, which is a bit unfortunate given that the semi-finals are coming in. Uh, but the team is raring to go and we're definitely waiting for the courses to open up and for us to get our boat back in water again. What's the technology behind these boats? We fuse a whole different bunch of sensor data to get what we call a fuse sensor data. So what this allows us to do is to be able to combine um, the radar, um, our LiDAR and our cameras to give us a, a much more holistic view uh, of, of our surroundings so that um, our, main com our primary computer can uh, make good decisions and to plan good paths even in spite of a lot of obstacles. Of course, our goal is to combine both uh, all, all of the, the drone, the surface vessel and also our underwater vehicle for a complete um, uh, autonomous maritime system. So that's it for now. Thank you so much. <laughs>